Hello everyone and welcome to All Things Watched. In this video we are going to talk about a brand new movie called Restore Point. Now this is actually a crime drama sci-fi and it's not an American movie uh, but I do think it was uh, shown uh, somewhere in Canada I think it was but this is actually a Czech Republic movie and a Slovakia movie and I believe it also uh, originated from Poland and Siberia as well. At least that's what it says in the IMDb. But it was released back in September 21st of Czech Republic. And I'm pretty sure they uh, played it at a festival here in Canada as well, which is where I'm from. And I was really interested to see this one just because, simply uh, from the fact that it says that the, one of the genres was sci-fi. I'm a huge sci-fi fan, so I figured, why not check it out? And this movie was actually really, really good. Now, I won't go as far as saying that this is the greatest movie I've ever seen. But I did really, really enjoy the concept. So the movie mainly follows the character character known as M. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt <laughs> how to, uh, to pronounce her last name, but her first name is M, and she is a detective, and this story takes place in the year 2041, and I believe it's somewhere around Europe, or in Europe, and basically they are living during this time when there's a technology which actually allows people to be restored and resurrected and come back to life, uh, but in order for this technology to work, they oftentimes have to like back up your memories, or or upload your memories or it's almost like they treat your body like a computer you have to back up the file so to speak and you are able to actually set different time points in your life which are actually called restoration points or restore points uh, in order uh, you know and, and so that when you are when you do come back to life this is the point of time which you remember, so to speak, or this is sort of like the last thing that you remember. And we also learn during the movie as well that sometimes whenever somebody is resurrected or restored and brought back to life, they can also have certain abilities added to them that they never had in their original life. And so I really like the idea of this, so I, I wanted to really check it out, and I also wanted to see how... Uh, this type of film will be handled in a country that I'm not fully, you know, aware of. I haven't really seen a whole lot of Czech Republic movies. I've seen a lot from Germany. I've seen a lot from uh, Russia. And I've seen a lot from uh, different areas. Uh, and I've seen some Poland movies, but I don't think I've ever seen one from Czech Republic. And honestly, I really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, I loved M, uh, the character M, who was portrayed by Andrea Mojilova. I apologize if I mispronounced her name, but she was absolutely a standout in this movie. Absolutely fantastic phenomenal and the idea is that she is investigating this murder which takes place and uh, which ends up of course eventually sort of tying back into the company that created this technology uh, you know it leads back to a character known as Rohan who's portrayed by Carol Dobre who's also a fantastic actor who did a great job she's introduced to other characters as well uh, along the way and just seeing her journey you know trying to figure out this investigation and figure out certain parts of the murder and why certain people were killed and you know and whatnot and and sort of what led to that you know whole, whole ordeal well as she starts to uncover the investigation she realizes that one of the the suspects or one of the victims sorry that's actually supposed to be murdered is actually still alive he was actually restored and and that's not really a huge spoiler you'll learn that very early on in the movie uh, but it's very interesting that you know the more she uncovers uh, in this investigation the more she investigates the more she learns uh, how you know things are not quite as they seem you know there's a lot of involvement with public there's a lot of involvement with the government and then there's a lot of environment uh, involvement with this company and so throughout the whole movie this company that uh, has this technology and has the capabilities of restoring people they are you know right from pretty well the beginning of the movie you learn that they are trying to privatize their company basically make it private and of course I'm sure there's many reasons for that you know financial reasons plus they can sort of bend the rules a little bit if it was more privatized they have more control over it and whatnot and so she's really you know in this investigation she really has a lot of threats from every angle she has a lot of you know a, a lot of uh, you know sort of conflict with her own government because she's like this special investigation agent she has some conflicts you know with some of her personal friends she has some conflicts with this company and so she really gets involved Involved with you know this case becomes really really big even though if you look at it at face value it's just a small you know murder in the sense that only two people dies so it was just really fun to see her character see this character living in this type of world and having to sort of 
you know, really watch her back around every corner and jump through certain hoops in order to get and achieve certain information. I really appreciate it too how at the very end of uh, the movie they do sort of throw you off on a loop a little bit, but then uh, it's hard for me to talk about it without actually spoiling the movie. But I really like how the movie ended, and and it was just so fun to see this type of film. It was so refreshing, and uh, it was really nice to see a really strong female-led movie, but not to the point where it's you know like not to the point where it's pushed like something woke or something like that. This is not a Hollywood movie, and it was really nice to see that. And it was really refreshing. And honestly, I thought it was a great sci-fi movie. It had some really cool components, really great special effects at times. There sometimes the CGI was very noticeable but sometimes the CGI was really effective and they did a really good job with it as well and I just loved this whole world because it wasn't advanced enough to the point where it was like Blade Runner but it was advanced a lot more advanced than where we are today so it was just really cool to see that whole environment and see that whole setting if I had to put a number on Restore Point honestly I'd probably give this one a 65% uh, just because I do wish that there was a little bit more action if there hadn't been a little bit more action I, I would have easily put give this one like a 70 or 75 percent um but overall i still absolutely love the characters i love the story and honestly if there was a sequel i'd probably watch it so with that being said folks that's my review for restore point let me know in the comment section below if you've seen it and if you liked it tell me why or why not if you like this video click that subscribe button and until the next one take care